Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is gonna be my most used makeup product in every category that I have in my collection. So this is basically gonna be the most used makeup that I own, that I keep going back to, that I use a lot. So let's get into it. So I decided to not really choose products from categories where I only have like one or two of, where I'm not really that excited about, I don't really care about personally. Like this is gonna be the more exciting product that I just, where I really had something to choose. So if you're missing something, I didn't really have it or I didn't really have much, so yeah. Didn't really care. All right, where should we start? I'm gonna start with my most used powder bronzer. This is the Nabla Skin Bronzing in Ambra. This is a baked jelly formula, which is very natural on skin and really leaves this natural sheen. This color in particular is very neutral, cooling. Like, not extremely cool, but it is very neutral. It doesn't lean orange. It just looks so extremely natural and perfecting and really beautiful on the skin i really love it and i just keep going back to this this has been my most used bronzer for quite a while and i have to be honest i kind of looked at the last like six months to a year or so there have been products that i've been using consistently for a long time in my collection but maybe not the last six months or so so i kind of wanted to keep it fresh i kind of want to keep it new but this is something that i've just been using since i got it like so 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 much i really love it i can't get enough of it and i just keep telling you about it because it is just so good and i feel like at some point i'm probably gonna hit pan on it i don't know if I don't know I'm like if I'm like super close. It definitely looks very, very used. I, I really love it. Then let's move on to my most used cream bronzer. So this is the Kika Milano Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour in shade 200. And this is a very cool toned, very like neutral cool toned bronzer stick, which is very easy to apply. It blends out super easily. It looks very natural on the skin. There's no fuss with it. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't look patchy. It is just so easy to use. It just works together with everything else on my face really well. And I really love the color of this. Like I'm a neutral to cool undertone. So this is really nice for me. And it's really nice for people who have fair to light skin tones. I've been going back to this over and over and over again since I got it because it's just so easy to use. I do have other cream bronzers that are also favorites that I also really, really love. But this is just so easy that every time I'm like, I don't know what bronzer to use. I just grab for this one, especially if I want to be a little bit quick. If I really don't want to think about it. If I just am like doing a five minute makeup look and running out the door, then this is amazing. This is so easy to use. And I've talked about it a lot on my channel because it just deserves more hype. I hear no one talking about this. Like people are talking about all sorts of creamy stick bronzers, but this, this should be mentioned as well. Like this is really, really good. Then let's move on to my most used blush, powder blush. This is the Catrice Cheek Lover Oil Infused Blush in Blooming Hibiscus. And this is a curly blush with a golden glow. It's a base formula that looks very sheeny on the skin, but not glittery. It's a very natural sheen. It looks very flattering. It's beautiful. I really love the pigment of this. It's not too softly pigmented. Sometimes you have kind of like this blush highlighter hybrids that are very softly pigmented and you feel like when you're piling it on because you want the color, it just becomes more and more shiny and kind of metallic. This doesn't do that. This is very easy to use. I really think it looks beautiful with all different kinds of looks and I just keep reaching for it because once again, it's very easy, it's very quick and it just makes my skin look very perfected and very beautiful and it just gives me all the vibes. Like when I look at it, I get excited to use it and that makes it so easy to grab for over and over and over again. I do have other blushes that came like pretty close where I was like, mm, could it be this one? Could it be that one? But in the end, I decided that it was probably this one. With these products, it's a little bit hard to pinpoint because sometimes you feel like you use something a lot and maybe if you would count it, it wouldn't be as much as you think. So it's also kind of like what I'm feeling. I use the most. Let's move on to my most used cream blush. I was kind of debating if it was this one or this one, but I think it's probably this one. This one that is a very close like runner up is the Kiko Milano Mood Boost 3-in-1 All Over Stick, which is a very nice like pinky rosy 
shade of cream blush. I've used this a bunch, but I feel like since I got it, it kind of caught up to that pinky one. And this is the Velvet Touch Creamy Stick Blush in 01. This is a new shade with a golden glow. I really love the shade. It's really easy to use. Once again, it's really easy to apply and it just looks good all day. It looks very nice and glowy. I really, really like this formula. So that is why like my favorite cream blushes are both like basically the same formula. But I feel like before this one came around, I used this pink one the most, but now it's the nude one. It's just like really easy easy to grab for. It's a really nice combination with the creamy stick contour as well. I really like those together. So I decided that it was probably that one. Then my most used highlighter in my collection is the Nabla Skin Glazing in Privilege. This is such a beautiful champagne that has kind of like this peachy pink undertone that looks very flattering on the skin that I feel like looks good with any look. It is basically a champagne, but there's just something kind of interesting about it. And I feel the fact that it has kind of this interesting undertone makes it my most used. Next to the formula that is just amazing. This formula is so beautiful. It just looks so perfecting on the skin. It really blends in. It's almost kind of creamy. It's like this creamy effect, a very wet looking highlighter. I think I'm very close to hitting pan on this. I have used this so much. I don't think I've ever hit pan on a highlighter that was a full size, only on minis. So I think this, I think actually this is gonna be my first highlighter to hit pan on and that is quite something. Like that says quite something about this highlighter. I've used it so much and I keep feeling excited about it. I keep being excited about it. I keep Going back to it, I really like the packaging. I really like the whole vibe, the color, and it just looks so amazing on the skin. It is a highlighter where you kind of have to go through the first layer when you first get it. It feels like it's a little bit like subtle, but then you use a little bit more and you get to the more powdery part and it gets really, really good. I have talked about this one so much on my channel. I have talked about it in so many favorites videos and I keep going back to this and that is how this became my most used highlighter. Let's move on to my most used face palette and this is the Kiko Milano Contour Obsession Contour and Highlight Face Palette in 02. So this is the middle shade of what they have. This has two really beautiful creamy bronzers but they are not creams they are very creamy powders and they look very natural kind of sheeny on the skin but in this very natural way kind of perfecting i really like that we have two shades of bronzers in here one is more neutral one has a little bit of a cool undertone and then the highlighter in this is also stunning it's also beautiful but i really go into this for the bronzers a lot and i feel like the fact that this is such a a simple product actually that, that there's just two bronzer shades that I just keep like mixing together or using one or the other it just makes it so simple for me to grab for and I just keep grabbing for this one over and over again it's so easy to use so easy to blend it looks amazing on the skin it's really like sleek it's really easy to travel with to take with me I just keep using this and using this and using this the formula is just so nice i love this type of powder bronzer it is just stunning stunning like i have other face palettes that have more interesting packaging that have different blushes as well different types of shades but i just keep using this one because it is so good like the quality of this one beats everything else then before we move on to the lip products i'm going to show you my most used spray so this is the catrice caviar gouge I wanted to call it the Shake Well Spray. Okay, let's try that again. The Catrice Caviar Gouge Limited Edition Glow Fixing Spray in Touch of Love. It is a very glowy, it is very nice. It just locks everything in. It just makes everything look very glowy, very seamless. Like, takes away powderiness. It just looks very good when I use it. It feels nice on the skin. It has a very fine mist. There's nothing I don't like about this except for the fact that it has a little bit of perfume in there which I'm allergic to so I don't use it every day but when I use a spray I, I use this one. As much as a spray can be used in my collection this spray will be used. That is basically the message. I don't really reach for my other sprays over this one because I just like this one so much and I also have a backup. It's kind of sad that it was limited edition but maybe they have something like this in their collection and I'm and I'm just not aware of it. But we'll see about that after I use this up. I just really really love this one. I don't know if it's still available but I'm sure that Catrice has some sort of glowy spray like this. It's probably 
possible to find something like this but i just haven't felt the incentive to go look for that because i still have this one and a backup okay let's move on to the lip products this is one of my favorite parts but i also really like the cheek products i actually like everything i have here in front of me what a surprise. My most used lip oil is gonna be from Lunar Beauty. This is the lip oil in Dare Me. I don't know, I don't know which one. Is this a strawberry one or the other one? I don't know what the, <laughs> I always forget the scents of these, but this is kind of like the peachy pink one. It doesn't really have a color on the lips. But I just really love this formula. It's so glossy. It feels so good on the lips. It's very hydrating. I have this out on my desk and I just use it all the time. It is just so nice to use. Like the fruit scent, everything about it, the packaging. It just looks so good. I really, really love that lip oil. Then my most used lip gloss at the moment. And I feel like I've only really been getting into lip glosses like maybe six months ago or something. So this is really of the past like three months that I've used this a lot. This this is the Nimia Spill the Juice lip gloss in the shade She Said What. And this is kind of like a cool toned shimmery nude. It is not shimmery in like a chunky or very sparkly way. It is very much a subtle shimmer which makes your lips look so good. Like so healthy, plump, juicy. And just the cool tone shade of this one I feel like is very flattering with my skin tone and undertone. And looks good with a lot of looks. I really like using this on its own or on top of other things. This is a lip gloss that I will have in my bag like all the time. I just, I, I keep kind of losing it and then I find it again in my bag. So that tells you a lot. I really love this gloss. I keep reaching for it like over and over and over again. Okay, I had to change my battery. So if anything looks different, that is a reason. It is so hard to film when your camera is yelling at you that the battery is empty. Okay, but we're all good again. Let's, let's actually talk about Leslie products. It was so hard to decide. Because I feel like I've been using lip gloss and lip oil so much, so much. So it kind of feels not even really fair that I chose these because these have not actually been things that I've been using like crazy, like the other products that I've showed. But it's still, I feel like it still says something about the products that I've reached for these the most of this category. I still wanted to show them, but I just wanted to put a little disclaimer here. So for the lipstick, I chose the Sweet Affairs Sweet Kiss Lip Stylo by Kiko. This is the shade 01. And this is such a beautiful cool tone brown. I love this shade so much. It is the perfect cool tone brown for my skin tone and undertone because it doesn't pull purple. It doesn't pull warm. It is a perfect neutral, like neutral to cool brown. There's no weird undertone in this and I feel like this looks so flattering so I keep reaching for it. It's also a lipstick that stays on for such a long time and it stays comfortable. It is just amazing. Like the formula is so good. I can wear it all day. I can wear it all day. I don't really have to think about it. It just loses a little bit of its shine but it still looks so good and I don't have to worry about it. I just... This formula is so so good. Then... For the liquid lipstick, I chose the Luna Beauty. Once again, Luna Beauty. Like, they do great, great lip products. And the Luna Beauty Daydream Liquid Lipstick. The thing about this liquid lipstick is that it's kind of like a satin liquid lipstick. It's still kind of transfers. But because of that, it's so comfortable. And it still stays on long. But it just looks so hydrating and it looks plump and it just makes sure like it just kind of smooths over your lips it's just a very comfortable very flattering very beautiful liquid lipstick that is not that traditional drying crusty liquid lipstick that i don't really feel like wearing anymore i kind of hate those now like you can tell by the lip products that i've been using the most i want something easy i want something comfortable i want something i don't have to think about and i feel like drying lip products don't really fit into those categories so i kind of like steered away from that and that's how lunar beauty became basically my favorite brand for my liquid lipsticks i wish i wish that they would come out with more shades at the point that they were releasing more liquid lipstick shades i wasn't really like paying attention so could we get some more shades at this point i feel like he's been really focusing on the lip oils but i want some more of these liquid lipsticks i would buy them without a thought i would buy them right away 
I want them in my life. Hopefully, hopefully more is coming. I have one last product to show you and that is the Nabla Side by Side Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This is my most used eyeshadow palette. Uh, there was a point where I was like, I don't use this enough. Why don't I use this enough? And then I got a full-time job and then I became a very responsible, very grown-up, grown-up. It's not very grown-up to say grown-up. A, I became an adult and I thought it was very easy to do my adult makeup looks. Of course, this is a joke. Being an adult doesn't depend on the makeup you wear, okay? So they were on the same page. But for my kind of office, a very presentable makeup looks, I like to go into this. And because of that, I have been going into this so much that this has become my most used eyeshadow palette. I usually really go a lot in the first two rows. Those are just perfect, like very neutral, kind of rosy, kind of peachy. I really love the shade Beauty Mark and Halftime. Like I do a lot of looks just using Beauty Mark and Halftime. It's just like a very easy to eyeshadow look, just very quick and out the door. I love this palette so much, but the fact that it's so easy to use just makes it my most used palette at this point. I, I love all the other shades as well, but just that easy look that I do makes me grab for this one. Like most weeks, like most weeks I do a look with this palette. It's just so easy for me to go to this. It's just become kind of a habit and that is how we got here and I'm just using this so much it is a good palette it is a really really good palette it is so easy to use it is just something i don't have to think about and that really really helps okay this is gonna be my most used makeup the most used product in every makeup category i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and then i'll see you in my next video and if you want to share with me what your most used products are, I am very interested to hear it. I always love to know what you think. And then I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.